Shalom. First and foremost, our praises go to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Racha Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, as well as you sincere, Aki and Menachwath, out there diligently laboring in his truth to you, I say Shalom. And, uh, you know, right here, as you can see, I got this video of the, uh, <laughs> you know, bubbling, you know, pretty much, you know, the uh, the talk of the town right now. He did, uh, I believe, came out about yesterday or maybe two days ago. But NASA had this live feed of, uh, you know, space and, you know, they was getting, you know, footage on this live feed of all these UFOs. You know, and they 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 uh they caught multiple, you know, very large uh, UFOs on that feed, all right? And uh, so much so to the point where Esau, you know, these NASA scientists, they had to cut the feed, <laughs> all right? Because uh, that's that's you know that's either it scared them too much or that just wasn't something that they were ready for. So they was like, hell no, nah, we just gonna cut this off, <laughs> you know, but. Whatever reason as to why they cut it off, man, we know that these are the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that the Lord is coming back very, 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 very soon to bring judgment to these devils, all right, to take down this wicked rulership of Esau Edom, all right. That's what's coming for these devils. And probably them seeing all them chariots out there that probably scared the hell out of them, so. They just decided to just cut the broadcast, you know, and now they're trying to hide the clip. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know how this dude, well, he was probably, well, he was recording while it was going on. But there's other uh, YouTubers out there that I think maybe one or two of them had caught the actual live feed where it was shown, which I don't know how they got that, but I don't know. But, you know, bottom line is, you know, Esau is scared as hell. Not only Esau, but the heathen period, because they don't understand, you know, what these UFOs are. For all they don't, they, they think that UFOs are just, you know, some little green men from another planet, you know, coming to planet Earth to, you know, take over, invade, visit, whatever they may be thinking. But they don't know in, in reality that the real reality of, of what, <laughs> you know, the chariots are it is much worse, you know. It is much worse than just some little green alien men. They gonna wish that it was little green alien men <laughs> that was coming inside them ships. You know what I'm saying? They gonna wish that it was that. But uh, without further ado, as you can see, it's a little uh two minute, three minute video. We just gonna check out a little bit of it just so you can get the point. You know that hey, these these uh these chariots are out there and and, and they out there deep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying these chariots is out there deep, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is mustering the hosts of heaven together to come and do battle. All right, and when you look at prophecy, these things are lining up exactly how it's supposed to. All right, because before you know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai come back to the earth to do judgment. World War Three has to pop off, and when you get into the scriptures, it tells you that when World War Three pops off, that all these nations are gonna be fighting against each other. But when the Lord comes, they are gonna turn their weapons to fight against Him. You see, so hey, we are in that time right now to where hey, we are very close to the end, and these chariots, the, these chariot sightings increasing, is a direct, you know, is direct evidence of that. See, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Oh, 
And yeah, as you can see, you know, this this dude here is dismayed at the signs of heaven. You know, like he 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 he's seeing it, you know what I'm saying, but he doesn't know what they are. Now he thinks that they're aliens or you know, from another planet coming to you know, coming to the earth to invade or whatever the case may be. That's why he's so afraid. And best believe if this dude right here is afraid, then you best believe that Esau Edom is scared as hell because Esau actually knows what these chariots are what these so-called UFOs are and he knows that it's not good for him you see so that's why they cut the broadcast as the, you know he showed you in the video you see what I'm saying so hey best believe that these Edomites you know they losing sleep at night they waking up in cold sweats why you think they trying to rush, you know, this whole Agenda 22? You know what I'm saying? They trying to rush this NWO. Why? Because they seeing the signs. They seeing the chariots. They seeing, you know, signs and wonders within the heavens, within the earth. They know what time it is. They, they listen, these devils know what time it is. And listen, even if you don't want to believe us, even if you don't want to believe the Israelites, Best believe that Esau believes us, man. Okay? Esau watches our videos. Okay? These these Edomites watch our videos, man. And these videos make them afraid. That's why they want to silence us and they taking all these measures to do away with free speech. Look how long free speech been around, but now they want to do away with it. Why? Because now the prophets have been risen up. All right? And us prophesying against this devil is breaking his kingdom down. It's making him afraid. Because we telling him his judgment. We telling Esau, yo, the Most High is coming for your ass. You know what I'm saying? The Most High is coming to put your wicked red ass down, man. And this devil don't want to hear that. You see? So, yo, all, <laughs> all in all, everything that was said to be a so-called conspiracy is now being found out to be the actual truth. You see? So, and the thing, the thing about it is, you know, we speak that saved the Lord, you know what I'm saying? We don't, now, of course, before we came into the truth, you know what I'm saying? We was getting into so-called conspiracy theories or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like they call it truth and, you know, truthers now, you know, but years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like you when, you know, brothers that talk about the NWO and, you know, a new, you know what I'm saying, world to a new dystopian future to, to come and all of that, you know what I'm saying, like, but then that was a conspiracy, like, nobody really, you know, subscribed to that, but now what's happening now, in this time, you know, the truth is coming forth like a flood, okay, as the scriptures say, okay, so the truth is coming forth as a flood, and if you know anything about a flood, you can't hold a flood back. Once that flood come, is a hey, the flood is gonna do what it's gonna do regardless. You, you you can't stop it. You you know what I'm saying? Like you can try to contain it, but ultimately the flood is just gonna overpower you. 
You see, just like this truth is overpowering this devil's lies, this devil's deception. It's the same thing. And like I said, man, these devils are scared as hell because because they know what this means. And, and they know that us prophesying these things to the wind, you know what I'm saying, that, that we're speeding things up. All right. Because the more and more of our people that begin to wake up, the more this devil, you know, uh, the more that this devil's kingdom begins to fall. You know what I'm saying? The weaker that his knees get. You see what I'm saying? So, this is Jeremiah 10, verse 2. We'll start at verse 1. Hear ye the word, the word, Salaki, which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. See? See? So hey, the Lord tells us not to be dismayed at the signs of heaven, all right? Not to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. Now, we're not dismayed because we have the knowledge and understanding that these are not some alien creatures, you know, that, that, that are, you know, some other form of intelligence coming from another planet. No, these are the angels, the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah coming back to the earth to do judgment, you know? They out there and they out there deep. All they doing is just waiting for the Most High to give them the go ahead, to give them the order, and they gonna do what they gotta do. You know what I'm saying? That's our means of salvation, and <laughs> you know Esau, the so-called white man, and the other nations. That's that's their sign of destruction. See, so that's why this guy is so afraid looking at these things because he don't know what the hell going on. He really thinks that an alien invasion is about to take place, which that's what they're going to stage it as. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when, when Yahweh Shai, the angels come back, you know what I'm saying? They're going to broadcast it as an alien invasion. Hence why in the midst of World War Three, in the midst of the third woe, all right, the nations are going to stop fighting each other and turn their weapons upon the Lord and the host of heaven. <laughs> all right. Because, it's, yo, it's, it's, it's going to seem as though it's an alien invasion. You see, and this is why they put these things in the movies and they, and they, uh, you know, put these things out there because they want to take the minds of the people, those they want to take the minds that are not of the elect. OK, but as the scriptures say, man, the elect, even if it were possible, even if it were possible to re to deceive the very elect, but it's not possible. So the elect are going to see through this devil's lies. All right. The elect are going to see through this devil's lies, see through his deception. And overcome this devil through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, so hey, the scriptures tell us not to be dismayed at the signs of heaven because we know what they are. We know what we worship. Verse 3 For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Okay, now this is going into, uh, <laughs> you know, the uh, custom of Christmas. You know what I'm saying? But basically, you know, the heathen. Are, are are vain you see there's there's nothing in their beliefs the, you know him believing that aliens are coming back there's nothing in that you know what i'm saying like what does that mean for him <laughs> you know he doesn't know what that means for him for him it's pretty much up in the air like oh you know what i'm saying like they could come back they may be friendly they may try to teach us and you know advance us technologically and all this type of stuff or on the flip side, it could be that they're coming to take over and destroy us. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? This, a dude like this, he don't really know what's going on. Because he don't have the truth of the scriptures that saved the Lord, you see? But us, we have the comfort because we know what the scriptures say. And, and, and we know that according to the scriptures, that the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord, that that is our means of salvation. That's our means of getting up out of here for the Israelites. For the heathen, that's their destruction, you see? But they don't understand that. All right, now, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Now, who has afflicted us? 
these nations, okay, Esau being the main offender. All right, so in that day, the righteous man shall stand in great boldness before the face of who? Our enemies, Esau, Edom, all right, and made no account of his labors, okay, through through uh, slavery. Okay, even, even now to this day, man, Esau has made no account of our labors, all right? Verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Now, who's going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation? Esau, Edom, first and foremost, and these other nations, man, because they're, they're going to look up. They're going to look up and they're going to say, wow, <laughs> these are the chosen of the Lord and UFOs came to save them. That's good. Hey, listen, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to envision that, like you have to envision people seeing that, like, wow, like they, they, they getting beamed up into UFO chariots. Like it sounds crazy to say, it sounds bugged out to say, but the truth is strange in the fiction as it, as, you know, as the saying goes, you know, these things are actually going to happen. You see? So then it goes on to say at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for, they not looking for so-called Negroes, you know, so-called Hispanics and so-called, you know, Native Americans to be beamed up into UFOs. That's crazy. Like, that's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. But it's going to happen in real life. And it's going to bug these people out. They're going to be like, yo, what the hell is this? These niggas getting beamed up into chariots? These are the chosen people of Yahweh? Bashim Yahweh Shai? Hell no, like, yo, it, it's going to bug people out in that day. You know what I'm saying? Verse 3, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he, pay attention, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh, and his lot is among the saints you see that so this is what's going to happen in that day okay when the lord come back to get us come back to save us from our enemies when when our big bro Yahweh shall come back to save us from our enemies this is what the heathen are going to say man they're going to be astonished they're going to be they're going to be in anguish repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit that's how they're going to be when these chariots come back and they beam us up. They really going to be. You know. In a state of like complete shock. It's like. Who would have ever thought. That niggas. <laughs> you know like. Who would have ever thought that niggas. You know spicks and you know tontos. You know what I'm saying. That, that they would have been. The chosen people of the Lord. That, that they were worthy enough to be called the saints. That's how these heathen going to be thinking in that day. You see? And rightfully so. Because in this world, you're, you're groomed to believe that anything that has to deal with anything outside of this current reality, whether it be spirits or demons or UFOs or, or you know, anything of that sort, that, that that's just make-believe, that's just fiction. But the, but the reality is that these things are very real, Okay. The spiritual realm is very, very real. All right, the, the, the you know spiritual realm is is all around you, but you just can't see it. You just can't see it, man. The, you know the the, the uh, spiritual realm is alive and well. You know what I'm saying? We just exist in a in a in a different space to where we can't see that. But if we could see it, it'd bug you out. You know what I'm saying? The Most High got to set up like that for a reason. You know what I'm saying? So now. Let's get a. Uh, let's get Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter ten. Let's start at thirty-three because hey, when Yahweh Shah come back, he's coming back to save his elect. Yes, but hey, he's coming back with a sword. Okay, he's coming back to kill and destroy the wicked, the enemies of Yasha Allah. All right, that's what he's coming to do. You see, he's not coming back as a lamb and you know coming all peaceably and no. He's coming back as the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. That's how the Lord is coming back. And that's going to strike fear into these heathen. So reading it says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess and also before my Father which is in heaven. 
But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Verse 34, this is the point. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. See that? So, hey, the Lord come to send a sword, man. All right. Which is what? Warfare. The Lord is coming back to do war. All right. He's not coming, you know, he's not coming as the peaceable land that he came as the first time. When he come back, he's coming as that conquering line of the tribe of Judah. He coming to clean up shop and establish his righteous kingdom upon the planet Earth. That's what the Lord is coming to do. You see? And Esau and, and you know, these, these uh, heathen, they're afraid of that. <laughs> you see? They're afraid of that because they understand that their end is very, very near. All right. Hence why this guy in the video like, yo, this dude right here was tripping. He was like, yo, look at this. Look at uh, it's a mothership. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, he, he, this dude was going crazy because he don't understand what he's really looking at. He don't really understand what he's dealing with. Just imagine if he really knew what he was really looking at. That'd make him bug out even more. Like, dude probably, probably would have started ripping his hair out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, dude probably would have started ripping his head out if he really, really knew what he was looking at. You see, but, you know, just, just look at us. We speak on this all day long and it don't bother us. Why? Because we have the comfort of knowing that this is for our benefit. This is for our salvation. Versus the heathen versus Esau. Like I said, man, yo, these, these 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 devils can't sleep at night because they're being tormented by the visions of their judgment. Okay, you got all kind, you know, all kinds of, you know, Edomite heathen period, man, saying that, you know, they be having dreams of them waking up as slaves as servants. You know that they was getting, uh, you know, afflicted, you know, in very harsh and uh, you know severe ways. All right, but this is what's coming for them because as it is written. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay? So now is the time for the heathen to reap what they have sown against the children of Israel. Alright? And that's coming back to you tenfold. Alright? Tenfold, the judgment is going to come back unto you heathen, man. And it's well deserved. You see? So that's what these chariots are coming back to do. These chariots are coming back to clean up the earth of the wicked. Alright, mainly Esau, Edom being the first and foremost, then the other nations. Alright. <laughs> so, hey, we live in some very beautiful times, and hey, the Lord, we in that last, we are in that last hour. Alright, we don't we ain't got that much longer to go before you know the Lord come back and get us up out of here. You know, so hey, just gotta stay strong, keep the faith, keep pushing, you know, and then uh you know, continue to, you know, pray that the Lord have mercy upon us, man. You know, because we don't want to be consumed on this side. You know, we want to, you know, be up in them chariots watching the destruction. You see? That's what we want to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Do the Rukha Kadash. Call hello. Yahweh Bashim. Yahweh Shai Bashim. Rukha Kadash. Till next time, shalom to the elect. Come, Yasha Allah, in a Bible ball.